ആനന്ദമായി അറിവായി നിറന്ത അമൃതവുമായി ബാണന്ദമാന വടിപിടിയാൽ മറ നാങ്ങിനിക്കും ആനന്ദമാന ശരണാരവിന്ദം തവള നിറ കാണന്ദം ആടുരങ്ക മെമ്പരാൻ മുടി കന്യൻ സോ വി ആർ ഹ്യൂമൻ ബീങ്സ് ആൻഡ് വി ഹാവ് ബിൽഡ് യൂണിവേഴ്സിറ്റീസ് ഇസ് നോട്ട് ലോങ് അഗോ ആക്ച്വലി ദിസ് എക്സിസ്റ്റൻസ് ഓഫ് യൂണിവേഴ്സിസ് ഫോർ ബില്യൺ ഇയേഴ്സ് അക്കോർഡിംഗ് ടു ദ scientists a cosmologist discoveries our universities are only 1000 years old the oldest university in bologama oxford cambridge is 900 years old our university of jaffna is 50 years old but the sri lanka we have a strong tradition of uh, having very much civilized life for more than 2000 years maybe in the modern countries europe is not known before 400 years just imagine living in europe without electricity because the world have found electricity 300 years ago so just imagine living in europe without electricity is a miserable experience but people are now is a land of opportunity so usa 300 years old australia 200 years old so now we want to produce graduates in the allied health science so that's our endeavor it's a very young faculty it was founded in 2006 so back to actually a man who had a vision he was a community medicine professor so he was a very famous novelist so in the late 80s or the beginning of 90s he sent two of his daughters to india to engage in cultivation of the allied health science in the nursing those days even people engaging in nursing may be a social stigma is not very encouraged those days you know maybe they take see this as a kind of a uh, <coughs> not a very priority choice but our man a jaffna man a well seasoned educationist a top professor the pioneer of uh, medical faculty he sent two of his young daughters to learn nursing in bangalore and what else school yeah. Salem okay she is now chairing your faculty as a dean of the allied health science so jaffna man always had a vision even the pioneering green medical school in this country was founded in jaffna top school in education system founded in watakku de jaffna college so this is a place for knowledge this jaffna i am proud to be a vice chancellor of university of jaffna we have around 10000 students so we are adding another 250 here today so we this place is going to be cherished because young people are coming i always the this world is for young people even couple of days ago i watched the euro cup the italians and british are playing there are a lot of spectators watching like us but the place is very jung so anandamai what i said in my song anandam mean as a singhali so tamil you understand this anandam is a sanskrit word anandam means is a joy this is what the human being wants every being wants to be in joy so this is a million dollar question nowadays how to be joy so the first of all this is the best engine ever made as a physiology professor is here even you don't understand this engine yet this is the best engine ever made is a flawless we are recently read all the engines man made normally it has a wear and tear so when it get used 
is normally, you know, lose its functions. So we may have to take it for service. We may have to abandon this after some years. But this engine, you know, the exercise come. The more and more use, the engine get better and better. Our brain also like that. If you don't use it, it go dumb. If you use it, it get better. The muscles are same. The heart is same. All the bodies are same. Even reproductivity also is like that. If you don't use it, it goes down. <laughs> so, <laughs> so this is the best engine ever made. So people say health is the wealth. So people want to be wealthy. So the important thing to be healthy. So I know the physical education also is a new addition to the faculty. The new set of students are going to come, another 50. So just imagine, we have nursing, medical laboratory sciences, then pharmacology, then in the future we are going to add radiology, physiotherapy, and now physical education. So this is a place of healthy people. It's not for sick people. So it's all our support, our system. You know, this, this, this is, this, this I also feel because this is something, physiotherapy, radiology, and these are all the diagnostic things. It's allied health. So it's, it's really improve. This is a system to enhance your health. It's not after you become ill, you go through this. No, in foreign countries, everyone go through this drill every six months, every year as a precaution. Even cancer prevention, cervical and breast cancer, all, all are done before. Detection goes before. So allied health is actually, is come as, it's a prevention measure. Actually, it's, it's said in our old wisdom, the prevention is better than cure. So it's a preventive thing. Even pharmacology is like that. Even diagnostic, then you go for all kind of drugs. Even recently, I was detected with some uh, issues. Then I had a sugar or something. So they gave me metformin. Then I went to internet and church. What is metformin all about? It says, it's an ancient time. There was a bit of a medicinal plant. It has been used by the traditional people to treat this uh, you know, uncontrolled sugar business. And then they, from there, these pharmacology people, the farmer, the farmer, they, you know, they, they had developed this drug. It's still there, they don't understand exact functioning. You know, it's the latest I read. It's still they don't understand the metformin function completely, but it's working, they say. It's better for even heart, they say. So this is the way. So that's what I'm saying. When the Lord created this universe, he created medicinal plants also. Even the medicinal plants are helping the scientists to do a lot of research and find a way to treat things in a modern way. So the science, engineering, technology, this all are helping us. So now in the allied health, you know, this, this uh, allied health uh, professionals are more sophisticated people because the radiology become a very big thing. The radiologists, the medical people also going in. The physical science people also going in. Allied health trained also coming in. Because you know, the non-intervention in, in, methods are coming in. You know, this is scanning and this all kind of things. You know, and this laparoscopic techniques all have been done with the allied health assistant with the surgeons. Because these tools are being developed. So you have a great opportunity, not only just to go and work in the professional sector in the, as an allied uh, health sector of the hospitals, you have a great opportunity to work in the research areas. Because uh, you know, so many companies are now developing tools. The doctors are only using it. You know, they work with the scientists. You know, the tools are not, the bio, biomedical, uh, you know, these uh, steps are coming in. So here, not only the first degree important. So today you are entering the university. This university is committed to give you the best of best education. So I forgot to tell about the gentleman, uh, Professor Sivanyana Sundaram. He is called also Nandi. His name Nandi was given, uh, you know, is honored by the Rajaji 
the the president of india actually called him uh, the and the, the nickname uh, nandi so i think we we miss him but today really i want to recall him because you will have the allied health uh, his memorial lecture every year so professionals come and deliver so what i why i am saying this you know we are not accidental babies the jaffna people you know we are very focused we have a good origin even the ancient time onwards we have another medical system running in this uh, university there's a siddha medicine i think you would have all uh, fill by filling the forms you would have seen the siddha also in the array of bio science student to go and there is a yoga system our physical education people are very good at yoga so yoga is the ancient padanjali i don't know when did he live right so that padanjali level of yoga the yoga support now everyone knows even the westerners knows the yoga because there are so many even recently i went to <laughs> some uh, you know pain in the joints i met the consultant narani and she said there are 65 uh, type of arthritis and uh, men get only two the women get 63 she says and she said the mind one she couldn't detect anything every reading was good but she said just go through the drill of your food management and see when and uh, maintain a diary and see when and where this kind of things are developing and try to see that the food is a medicine she says so she said my body is very different from others body so then she said try some yoga and see whether that suits you so now is a multi dimensional thing multi disciplinary thing this whole maintenance of health it doesn't depend on the drugs then i really told her don't give me any drugs then then this is said professor how do you know this i know you are going to give me some painkillers which i do want she said yes that's what she prescribed so this is what so here the ananda mai so in this universe this planet one of the best planet no one knows is there any planet like our planet even in this planet the sri lanka is the best place although we mess it up we are human beings because just imagine we have the mountains we have the uh, medicinal plants we have the rivers we have the ponds we have the paddy land so we have the green we have the honey we have the fruits the best fruits in the world i know that i welcome you all uh, youngsters to jaffna to taste our mango and best fruit in the world the most tastiest is not dna modified is a very natural our grandfathers planted it so we are reaping it recently i was told by our director of welfare service uh, rajo mes he is going to give a address now you know the jaffna there is no pasty land there is no green grass there for a grace of a, you know our cows and goats there is no green land for our grassland to graze our cows but in the say in vanni and other district they have plenty of grassland but when you come to milk production you have the excess we are now sending milk to other district nestle come and take it so jaffna man graze the cows in his home and produce milk you know milk is the most nutritious thing so we are known for hard working that's what last 30 years we have been undergoing lot of problems we were cut off from the mainstream of activities for a long time since 2010 11 only influx of student coming from all over the island to come our faculties up before that we were cut off but even during that time we sustained we sustained we sustained our education and quality and jaffna graduates are well known now in the country for maintaining standard and the quality that's the most important so when you come our graduate profile i always insist our deans and heads put one graduate profile our graduates you know when the process start university the educational process start educational process means the nuts and bolts of whole process of uh, teaching and learning teaching and learning you have input now the freshers the freshers have the uh, freshers have the uh, you know the the ability to learn 
because you are in the age of brahmacharya brahmacharya i know the tamils understand the singhalese understand the brahmacharya means the period of initial period of human beings that's a period of learning so before your marriage i know i hope you most of them are unmarried now so this is your last stage of learning after this graduation i know you are going to pick lot of uh, girlfriends and boyfriends in this place i know it's a sometimes uncontrollable in this area but uh, this uh, this you are coming out of the home you will have freedom so this is the last stage of brahmacharya period that's a period of learning so the teachers are ready the teachers are like a lit candles you know today we are lighting the oil lamp so that dispel darkness so darkness is actually associated with the ignorance so opposite of darkness is light light is associated with the knowledge because wherever in the emblem come always they put the lamp in the educational centers whether east or west doesn't matter because the light bring the vision the knowledge bring the vision so that shaped your path so the life goes so today you are going to start a important chapter of your life book your life is a book every day you are writing page by page you are writing your book that is your autobiography you know that is your uh, book you are actually authoring so today we are writing a new chapter the important chapter that is the beginning of the tertiary education the third stage that is lot to do with the self learning you will have the freedom when people have a freedom they if they don't use the freedom properly they will go down if they use the freedom uh, properly they will rise they will reach the everest otherwise they fall down i know today in this country is a big problem i was told there are 50000 uh, uh, you know addict for substance and alcohol every year is adding on in the list but we have the capability to rehabilitate only 4500 so that in the country capacity so that means another 45000 left out so the freedom is abused freedom is abused because you know people the god has given the fruits to eat god has given the milk to drink but the man made alcohol out of the fruit fermentation techniques are also running in the universities when biochemistry or biochemistry is famous for that out of the grain they produce beer so out of the fruit they produce alcohol now even the medicinal plants this uh, you know this uh, uh, this kanja and this malvana and all these plants were nature made for some treatment maybe the man living in the everest maybe he has to smoke couple of smoke just to keep him warm <laughs> but now our people have found that is very enjoyable and they are killing themselves so here i think even allied health you have a lot of responsibility there is a more and more more people have become unfit nowadays obesity is a problem not only in sri lanka is obesity is a problem in the whole western world so that's what our allied health now is a day to day thing it's not just maintaining health uh, supporting the doctors in the hospitals no in the nutrition aspects uh, and you know weight control aspects and sugar control aspects these are now is not doctors business is a matter of more technical support has to come in more kind of measurement has to come in more kind of training has to come in so that's what this uh, the physical education yoga pharmacology medical laboratory sciences because now people have gadgets to monitor their their health condition with the small gadgets they, everyone can can have it in their home no now those days we had to go to the clinic or maybe go to the laboratories to do this so this has been developed by not by doctors it's a technical people so it's a technical association that's what if you could see the composition of the faculty the chemists are coming the this uh, technology people are coming so some uh, physical science people who are going to coming so we are going to create a new department this is a human uh, chemistry you know biology what is the matter 
human biological science we are going to re recreate. So that, that, that department is going to support you in the physical chemistry and biological system and all this. So really is a matter for you is to believe in the system and engage yourself and next three years in your life or the four years in your life going to make big difference. Big difference. It's an opportunity. It's an opportunity. If you grab the opportunity, then the whole country will celebrate. If someone get the hard catch, then the match will be won. People say the catches win the match. If you miss it, that's the end of it. So England lost the penalty. They hit the post. Only one inch. So if you miss it, then it's a miserable. The whole country suffer. So these youngsters, you are now supported by the system to do well. And this, I said, uh, this, uh, our teachers are lit handles. So lit handles mean they are burning. They, 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 they you know, the effulgence come, the light comes, spread. So the vibration, the vibrant faculty is there. So one lit handle can light thousand unlit handles. So you are coming as a youngsters, eager to learn. So these people will day by day, you see the video in a, in a very, 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 uh, very composite, uh, com uh, compassionate manner. They will teach you. They will teach you. They will lead your, your domain burning, lightening, right? So enlighten you with this uh, new knowledge. That's it, that Anandamai and Arivai. If you want to go a joy, you need the knowledge. Otherwise, people, sensual domain people go. Lord Krishna says the most dangerous thing, pleasing your senses. The tongue is the most dangerous. I know today I am speaking, I see wisdom coming, but the same tongue I can abuse. I can make people sick. I can uh, make others uh, aversion of matters. So tongue, the most uh, voracious. So you could, Lord Krishna say, control your tongue. Because that asks for more food. The obesity come. The food disorder come because people are control the tongue. It's only you pass one inch, you have problem. So many delicacy come. Then you have your tummy. Then you have your genitals. It all are in the straight line, right? So if you don't control it, then you have a misery. This is a problem nowadays. In this country, east or west, people of your age are going to nightclubs and they are, they, are, they, are, they are putting themselves under a lot of trouble because I know the youngsters, even I go to Kalamba Road, not in the Sri Lankan villages, but not in Jaffna. Jaffna is free from that jet. <laughs> but other district, this has come. So, sensual control. So, how can we done? It's only by done by the knowledge. You should know what to do and what to not to do. What are the consequences? Idiots wouldn't know. People eat too much nowadays. 30 years of war in Jaffna. No one died of starving. But people are dying by overeating. This is issue now. So this is sense control. That's come from knowledge. So when you have a knowledge, you have a qualifying yourself to be in joy. Then he says, Anandamai, Arivai, Miranda, Amudamai. Amudam means Amirda also Sanskrit word. It's Amirda. Uh, this uh, nectar. Uh, Sarida Amirda, sometimes we say very great science, you know, Jesus gospel. This is a translation for gospel is Sarida Amirda. So it's, it's their life itself is Amirda because it gives life for other people. So Amirda means by definition, it, 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 it prevents death. Those who have nectar, taken nectar, they, they just, uh, you know, Avert this, uh, the, the worst scenario of the human beings, we lose our whole existence. So the death is averted. So the amrita. So the knowledge acts in the middle of thing. So the, uh, so the, the medicine, uh, the amrita, 
that's also come from the essence of knowledge. So that's what I think uh, I welcome you, the freshers. Your engagement is a very noble engagement. I know you all tried for medicine, but you end up with this. Don't worry about this. That's a destiny. That's a design. I also want to have a lot of things, but I have my limitations. We are conditional living entities. You know, uh, we are conditional living entities. We, we can't only jump uh, five feet and uh, five and a half feet, not more than that. So I know within my limitation, I want to make my life. So understanding ourselves, the self-realization is the most important thing. So don't worry about whether you got into medicine or not. Even my medical faculty have our issues. So today you are coming into the new domain that is set by the nature, that is set by the divine providence. So the divine arrangement is set for you to seek your career as a nurse, seek your career as a, a laboratory scientist, seek your career as a, a pharmacologist, seek your career as in the sports science, seek your career as a radiologist. And also I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, the young people, now the education pathways are open, it's exploded. Even the roads, you can get the degrees. The foreign universities are coming, operation in the offshore, and they're offering degrees everywhere. Not only now MLT, medical laboratory science and quantity, you know, Q, Q, QS, quantity survey, and these kind of famous degrees are now in the Columbia, Columbia roads. So there's a people are coming from that side also. Even the nursing schools are coming in private school, but the semi product, they're only making in a very uh, ad hoc manner. So they can't match our degree program. So there's a challenge. So you have to maintain your quality. And after that, you will have a chance for to do your master's program. When you have, uh, it's not very expensive nowadays. You, you know, I was uh, told when I was um, young, you know, this uh, education maybe is uh, only a rich man thing. No, now it's very plural, pluralized. It's not very expensive. Even one sovereign of gold is one lakh. It's gone. But the one degree program is only three, four lakhs you can do. There are so many uh, degree programs are coming in. So after this, you will have an opportunity to do the postgraduate program also. So this uh, dean, uh, uh, young lady, she has obliged to my request and accommodated physical education in the faculty and the uh, university is now cherishing. I know this uh, Allied Health also now enjoying this uh, addition, uh, value addition to their faculty. And Professor Sobhad, and he is a top uh, physiologist in this country. Uh, and he devoted uh, as a medical uh, professional, he, 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 he devoted himself whole life uh, for training the, uh, the uh, medical students in the, in the para uh, preclinical uh, stage as a physiology professor. And he, he chaired the faculty for three terms as a dean during the most difficult time. So he's uh, now uh, helping uh, the other faculty and also more and more young people are coming in with the um, uh, qualified uh, young people are coming with the Western exposure. So they know uh, they have a vision, they have idea and they have the uh, appetite to shape your life uh, and they have some idea uh, you know, the Germany is doing well in the biotechnology. When, uh, uh, when others were doing well, Germany was wondering. Uh, they couldn't start it, but they got, it, got started late, but now they are the best in the country. Because they, had a, they say the Germany is a land of idea. Similarly, the, our allied health people also a lot of idea, and we are proposing to build a big complex for you. Uh, with the uh, more than a 1 billion project is uh, supposed to come next year uh, with a very strong setup of five story building and the building complex. I hope uh, during your time, you will see uh, that uh, building complex will be materialized. 
other than that, um, the whole uh, University of Japna community is uh, prepared to share their facilities. I'm very grateful to the Faculty of Medicine. They have been assisting uh, and helping the Allied Health as their own, uh, uh, you know, embarrassing them also as, as their own baby and uh, create, keeping a lot of facilities. Still, they are doing it. So as a vice chancellor, I'm very grateful to the Dean and the Faculty of Medicine staff for their, um, for their affection towards uh, helping uh, our allied health because they understand the importance of allied health. So I know the more of my village people and my relatives and my um, for school students uh, from my schools and other schools and all over the country are entering the faculty. So this is my time to uh, give my extended welcome and heartiest uh, 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 greetings for you all to do well. And this is, uh, the, you know, I, as I told you, catch us in the match. The, when this, uh, grab this opportunity. And uh, if you do well, the whole country will, uh, will be celebrating. So we will be celebrating our life because of your dedication and sacrifice in making uh, your endeavor, uh, you know, very fruitful. So actually the man endeavor and God grace, when they meet together, then the things go well. For example, man made a boat and he made this, uh, you know, this, uh, this, <clears throat> this, uh, we call this is, um, uh, <coughs> what do you call the pie? You know, the flag or whatever. So, but the boat only move when the wind comes. The wind is the grace of uh, God. So here, uh, we are very thankful. We have a big temple in the uh, faculty, uh, in this university, and we have uh, Vigara in the, uh, in the Japna premises, and we have mosque in the Japna close proximity. So the divine support is always there for you to do well. And uh, we are actually a very culturally uh, developed university and very committed. And you see that you, when you come and see the Jaffna man life, uh, very disciplined. Mm, you hardly find any Jaffna girl as a girlfriend because uh, they won't, <laughs> hardly. So they, but uh, our community is very disciplined, uh, very high, highly uh, culturally oriented. So the culture exists to the tradition. Uh, so you are coming to a place, it's very well known for education well known for culture, well known for warm uh, welcome, uh, well known for extending uh, friendship, uh, well known uh, for traditional uh, food and uh, lifestyle. So you will cherish. And also more than that, whoever comes here, so you will have your uh, language ability improved. Uh, not only the course will be conducted in English, uh, you have a, a Tamil counterpart, the Tamil have the Sinhalese counterpart, so that will make you as a trilingual people in the future. That's also one of the top thing in the University of Japna. In the University of Japna now 50% of the, 55 percentage of the students are from minority community, so outstation students. And we have 900 or odd, uh, Muslim students. I am the senior treasurer of Muslim Majlis, and uh, there are around 4,500 Sinhali students and um, around 4,000 Tamil students. So this is a big place. So when you graduate, if you use the opportunity, if you, if you make your uh, effort, or if you use the opportunity, opportunity properly and mix with the others, then you will have a graduates of trilingual ability. That will be asset to the country. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. As a vice chancellor, uh, I really pray the, to the almighty, uh, your life will be very much blessed and uh, he would give uh, all the support for you to cultivate the knowledge in this uh, shrine of knowledge. And our motto is the uh, discernment is knowledge. So the knowledge itself, finding the truth. So what is the ultimate truth? It's a character formation, knowing ourselves. That's what Dokradi said, know thyself. So know our body system, know our health, 
know our wealth. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.